tactical guy one here from the YouTube world making this video because I know everyone already knows how bad this world is and how corrupt officers are how cops love to do bad things and we have enough people like myself and Alex Jones and other people on YouTube pretty much telling us what, what we already know and I don't want to be like the next Alex Jones no, I'm not knocking him but uh, I want to provide a solution to these problems and the way I can contribute is by showing you what I would file if I were charged in a criminal matter with a criminal matter and uh, this is called a subpoena ducis tecum now every state has a subpoena ducis tecum this one happens to be for California this one is CR 125 as you can see up here if you google that it will pop up and you can download it for free if not I can post the link to the court website and um, this is so that you subpoena the witness if it happens to be the officer you can subpoena the officer if it's somebody else who is the person that's uh, in charge of the records then you can subpoena them or both whatever the case may be I'll, I'll explain that in a minute now up here it says attorney or party without attorney name and address people miss the address part so the state bar number obviously if it's an attorney representing you then you don't need to worry about this he or she will fill this out but if it's me for example up here I put tactical guy one then I would put my address here and the reason why is because if the prosecutor wants to provide discovery or simply tell me that hey I'm dropping the charges he or she has a way to contact me and let me know my telephone number goes here it's pretty self-explanatory the email I never give them it's optional for a reason and it, this is for my attorney if I have an attorney now Superior Court of California County of Los Angeles and then I would put the address of the court the mailing address if it's different if not I simply type same city of Glendale and zip code the branch name of the court and the case name the case name would be people v tactical guy one okay um, or you can put VS whatever you like the case number goes here okay and two would be name or business so I would put uh, for example Glendale Police Department officer John Doe whatever whatever the officer's name is if it's an officer okay then I would click they say B and C but I click A as well just for the heck of it I don't know um, then if I want them to provide a copy of these items to the court and obviously it's not for juvenile court records because I can't do that but uh, and they're not authorized to do that because they're minors um, let's say I need I lose my copy of the citation or mine gets dirty I can put a copy of citation here for example second one can be any copy of video from the squad car for example any paperwork whatever it is whatever it may be okay um, then you pretty much follow instructions here um, if I don't need them to show up I just need the the stuff I can click E if this box is checked and you deliver all items listed above to the court within five days of service of this order you do not have to attend court if you follow the instructions in item 5 okay then obviously I need a date time department and room the court hearing will be at name and address of the court so I put the name of the court and the address of the court now here is a little tricky because it says you may be entitled to witness fees mileage or both in the discretion of the court ask the person in item 4 after your appearance even if it's a criminal matter I would have a notary notarized that I sent a money order or check along with this subpoena 
I'd say about $150 should cover it. That's just me, though. You know, I know people are going to say, oh, you don't have to. It's a criminal matter. You have rights, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But if if I have a judge trying to haggle me for whatever reason, if the witness doesn't show up and he starts to or she starts to cross-examine me as to, oh, did you send this? Any witness fees did you pay? Oh, well, then that's why they didn't come. You know, I don't want to give them any wiggle room if I don't have to. That's just me. You guys can do whatever you want. Now, of course, uh, the name, my name right here, phone number, uh, P.O. Box, if I don't feel safe or comfortable with putting my address here, not that they don't already have it, uh, name and title, sign it right here. Now, this person right here, whoever's going to serve the witness, fills this part out. If it happens to be a sheriff, there's even a box that it's for for them, sheriff, marshal, or constable. Okay, and um, then they sign it pretty much and that's it now for whatever reason if you're in a public law library or public library anywhere it doesn't matter where or you're simply using somebody else's computer once you fill all this stuff out and you print it you print this form you could save the form however if you're done with it and it's not your computer and you want your information obviously uh, deleted the fastest way instead of having to hit back 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 or just holding the backspace or the delete button you can hit clear this form and as you can see there everything on this form got deleted so that's a little trick there that most people don't go all the way to the bottom so they don't see it because they figure oh that's not for me that's for whoever's serving the witness now I don't remember the timelines or the dates that this needs to be filed whatever the time is within so many days or whatever um, it really has been such a long time that I've been to court I honestly don't remember so if anybody out there knows then share with us but if not that's fine I will see if I can find that information and I will share that with you guys I really do hope this video does help you guys out there especially to understand that this does exist it's free and lots of people have gone to jail because they did not subpoena a simple thing like the police squad car video so and the sad part is if you have an attorney they better be filing something like this at least if I had an attorney I know he or she better I mean in reality I wouldn't have one but just so you guys know the more things that are filed the better thanks for watching guys and I hope this video did help you guys out and if it did in any way shape or form please share this video and hit like just so that other people can know that this video does exist thanks for watching guys and Godspeed